Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I am taking part of hashtag Poggist Art, and it is uh, all of us YouTubers who do any type of art or arts type of thing are going to be doing the hashtag Poggist Art, and it is the 20th, the 21st, and the 22nd. All you have to do is go on Google or on YouTube and put in, or Twitter or anywhere, and put in hashtag Poggist Art. And you will see so many uh, artists and everything and their contributions to this wonderful thing. So let me know down below if you've done that. And if you found anybody that you have not been subscribed to. I'm finding people left and right that I didn't even know existed. And I love it. So I did this background a while ago. I don't, I didn't do it on, um, on video, I don't think. But this is from stuff I got from Applesauce. And she sent me some good stuff. And so I put it on here. And I wanted to do something on here. And so I thought this is the great time to do it. So I don't exactly know where I'm going to go with this. But I, like everything else, I'm just going to kind of start it and go with it. So I think first I'm going to put down a base. And I think from my base, I'm going to go with a pink because I'm going to try to stick with pinks and greens and just kind of doing that and I'm going to take my bigger brush and I want it to be wet but not soaking wet because I am working on watercolor paper which you know can hold some moisture but uh, I don't want it to get soaking sopping wet. All right. I'm just throwing, this is the great thing with mixed media or art journaling. If you are having a bad day, yeah, just throw paint down on stuff and uh, makes you feel so much better, right? I'm not worrying about covering too much, but I do want the white. Okay. Just while I have the paint, this pink out, I'm just going to try to do the best around the edges. Sometimes I'll wet it and take it down because that'll make it, you know, kind of extend a bit so I don't pour any more out. But that's where I'm going with that. And I'm going to just hit it with the heat gun. Okay, so I want to do an animal. I don't want to do a cat or a dog. I did uh, play around with the unicorn idea, but I'm trying to think. What kind of animal do I see coming on here? Uh, let's draw. I'm going to use this. Am I going to use this? No, I think I'm going to use this. This is just the Prismacolor Ebony. It is jet black, extra smooth, 14, 420 is the number. It's not water soluble. So when I draw, it's going to just be on here. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is, all right, what do I want to do? All right. So I'm going to do around for the head. Go up here and do that. Now, this is very loosely. It's not. It's not what it will probably end up being all together. But okay. Okay, and then the hands, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the hands, we shall say. I'm just playing and drawing. Now let me make sure this isn't water soluble before I, yeah, no, it's pencil. Okay, so now I want to map in 
so to say. And I'm just going to use tight and buff, but use white or whatever. Uh, to get me some color, I'm going to use my big, bigger brush to dip it in. And I'm going to kind of gesso it in a sense. And the only reason I'm using this is because it's sitting here and it's a big tub of it. And uh, but you definitely can use gesso or any other color you have sitting. Use white, whatever you have. And I don't necessarily want it to be like spot on, you know, with the shapes or whatever. We're just going to apply. Just some hands. Don't really know what I'm doing with the hands yet, so I'm just gonna kind of put it out like that. And let it dry for a minute. And then we're gonna go on to painting the rest of it. Okay, so I have my bunny dry. Now this is a little wet right here, but I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm gonna take some Deco Art Raw Umber and it's traditions and their traditions line and I'm going to go in and I'm going to outline with a small brush my, uh, my little guy here I'm just kind of outline them because I want them to kind of come off the page I don't necessarily want him to uh, I'm going to do the water soluble and I'll think on this one I think I'm just going straight for paint that is kind of obscene looking but we'll fix that don't know what kind of bunny hands I'm doing yet so just going with the flow I know I like the round face Yeah, and I like one ear up, but remember, nothing is nothing is going to be perfect because we don't do perfection here on my channel. We just have fun. Now I've done it. I've done bunnies before because I like doing like creepy ones. So this might turn into a creepier one, or it might turn into a cute one. I don't know yet. We shall see. But I'm gonna kind of just go in here. Now you can see this paper obviously is lifting up for some reason. Now I can take it off. I don't know if that's gonna be wise to do. Because I like that texture, so I think I might go with it and then see what it does. Just give him a little belly, a little, little paws, well, his little mittens. Now comes the time for me to think. And I'm gonna do a little. I'm gonna do his face. Let me get my camera in if I can. Let's see. If I move it in, you're gonna, yeah, see, that's not going to work either. Maybe I'll leave it like that while I do the face. All right. So I'm going to do, what do I want to do? I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take black. I'm going to shake the black first. This is just carbon black in the Deco Art Traditions line. And I think I'm going to. 
give him that. And then I think I'm gonna... Kind of like that. I'm gonna... Let's see... What do I want to do? Give him that kind of news. I know, don't ask. And get the bristle off of there that's gonna make everything run. Give him that kind of mouth. Which I'll go back later and figure that out. And okay, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this off. So I'm gonna just put water down. I know that it's dry for the most part, but I'm gonna get off what I can because I don't want to do that. I don't want them arms there. I just change my mind and I can change my mind. So I'll go back over that with the background after I'm done. And um, I take my paper towel and just give it a little bit of a dry. No big deal. Okay. I think I'm gonna take my brush, take the black, kind of like that. And I think I'm just gonna do like this. I'm gonna do my regular arms that I, my go-to arms is what I like to call them. Go-to arms. And the feet, I think I'm gonna add this to it. I know, totally not, uh, not exactly what I was planning, but it's all right, it'll work. All right, so now I wanna paint in Okay, put the lid on things because I will end up spilling them. And I'm going to take this is medium beige in the deco art tradition. And I'm going to take some of that and I'll do the arms with that. Because I want this dark color. This would be a great shading color too. So I can just add some highlights in there. And I can do the whole, I'm going to do the whole like this color. So I paint is so wonderful because you can just, well, you can't see now because I moved my camera. I tell you what, today, it's lucky I can remember to pee. That's <laughs> the kind of day it is. All right. So we're doing that. So we're doing this. Okay, and then I'm going to do this inside brown and all that texture of that paper or whatever I have there. is going to add to that. I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see after I'm done painting, I'll have to turn the light off over here to see. And then I'm going to give him just some ears, which I probably will paint pink over, but gives me an idea. Uh, this way. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to blend this. So I'm going to put this way before I get it everywhere. Now we're going to dry it for a second. I think I 
I might take green and add some green to the background and edit some of this. Maybe I'll do that. Let me grab some green. What color are you though? Hmm. All right, let's use some green. And I want my bigger brush. Dry that off the best that I can. Stick my green in. I'm just gonna kind of go around here. Not too much. I'm gonna throw green everywhere, but just kind of pull it through. Cover some of this. Well, I can go over it with pink again because just to add some of that pink back, but I don't need to uh, go nuts. Add some pink and green because he doesn't like pink and green. And why not make it cheery but make him kind of miserable? You see what I'm saying? Um, man, just enough to kind of clean this area. A little darker. Okay. I'm going to do his eye green. And his nose pink. Let's see. I need to go in here and do green. Probably take a couple coats. But it's showing up. And I think some pink. Let's do a little bit of pink for his nose. Because he was once a happy, loving bunny. But now he's just not. I'm going to put some red in there too when I'm done. Just going to dab that in. Okay. I want to add some Okay. Let me see. Let's see. Let me hit it with the gun one more time. Go in. And trace the news. And I'm going to put in stitch marks. And you can do this with paint too. I'm just, it's just a bit easier for me. Some marks. Halloween's coming up, so I'm beyond excited, so that's why I'm doing this. I'm just gonna keep putting stitches everywhere. Very random. But it does the job. I'm going to work on his face. I'm going to turn it upside down. And work on these ears. Because I am going to go back and kind of smooth that out. But where's my pencil sharpener? figured out why my chair makes noises is because I sit on the edge of it. Like I don't sit back like a normal person. I sit on the edge. Every time I move to do anything, that's why the noise. Um, what are you going to do? All right. So first I'm going to trace this in. Can I do that? Eyeball. 
And now for... <clears throat> Just some stitches. major. Okay. Now I need to do the math. I'm going through these pencils like crazy. I really got to stop. I just love using them. Okay. I want to give Not too creepy, but you know. Yeah, I think that's all I'm gonna do with him right now. And I'm gonna clean up the thing around his ears because I can see some of the drawing there. So I'm gonna throw another coat of paint down, I believe. See if that'll do it. If not, then I'll have to wait until it's dry and throw some gesso and then. through. There's some pink on that green that I put down. So it all goes together. You know what I wanted to do? Maybe I'll do it real quick. I want to put a bite out of the one ear. Like this up here I want gone. Gone. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to be gone, but I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to take some pink and put that down there. So... covers it. And I'm going to dry it. Okay. Take my pencil and I'm going to do like that. I just want a bite taken out. Kind of like a rip. You know? Oh, I could put rips all through it. I could sit here and just rip, rip, rip. But I'm not going to. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's all I'm going to do there. I think the last thing I'm going to do is kind of go in here. Oh, I can have a red nose. I'd like to draw blood and all that dripping, but I guess I'll, I'll spare you on that today. Halloween's coming. I'm excited. I cannot help it. So after this is all dry, then I'm going to kind of cut around it a little bit. But that's, I think I'm going to be okay with that right now. This is my contribution to Pogist. It's an animal. You don't see me doing, I mean, I like doing odd animals, you know, drawing on animals and that kind of thing. But I don't know. I just wanted to get into the mood or have a gel pen that works. Because that would be very fun too, wouldn't it? Come on, give me some white. It ain't gonna do it. It ain't gonna do it, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But that is it. So don't forget to go and check out everybody's hashtag Pogist Art. You will find so many great things, so many great people. And I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I have gosh, eight hundred some videos for you to go through. Um and if you ever want to see anything, just ask. The last thing I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to write over here. 
probably have to go back with marker though. Once everything's dried, overloved, and that's my contribution. So I will see you guys later. And as always, tag me with any kind of art that you guys do. You guys are so inspiring. I love you guys. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know battle somebody else is fighting. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.